going on guys? Ultimus here on a bright and sunny afternoon here in Southern California. It's kind of gross. Um, you hear no noise going on in the background. It's the air conditioner on my car running to keep me from melting while I'm trying to vlog. Uh, I was going to do this when I got home in front of my computer, in front of my webcam, but I decided why the heck not just do it now. Because it's fresh in my mind and uh, sometimes it's fun just to kind of do this stuff on the fly without really thinking about it too much and just kind of letting it be genuine. Um, so this is going to be another fitness vlog, obviously though without any um, fitness footage. Kind of an update on what's going on. Um, I did mention in my first fitness vlog that I uploaded that I had about a week or so left in dieting, coming out of a dieting phase and then with fall hitting I'm going to be doing um, probably a really intense and elongated bulk phase. Um, probably going to be bulking for about six to nine months or until I get to about 200, 205, uh, whichever kind of comes first. Uh, I'm not really sure. I've never really done one of these like serious bulks before. Um, but the new apartment we're moving into or have moved into got the place still in the process of moving has a gym on the premises that's open 24 hours a day and uh, they've got just tons of free weights and machines in there like dumbbells up to 100 pounds so I'm pretty pumped about that so I want to take full advantage of that um, right now I'm sitting at about 187 pounds um, give or take um, obviously that's gonna kind of fluctuate depending on what I ate the day before and all that good stuff um, but so I'm looking to, to jump up from there to about 200 205 again depending on um, kind of what comes first we'll see um, but the plan of attack is I'm gonna be doing a reverse diet for starters and that started today and basically what a reverse diet is put simply um, if you're unfamiliar with it is instead of immediately switching from a diet to a bulk um, you're going to slowly increase your calories slowly increase your macros so I will add um, let's say for example over the past a few months while dieting I've been on about 240 grams of protein um, I've been eating sitting at about 200 or 100 I should say yeah 200 130 grams of carbs and about 60 grams of fat again sometimes a little bit lower sometimes a little bit higher that's about it's probably really hard to stick really close to those macros and it's, cramming all that into about 2,400 calories. I probably should have dipped a little bit lower into the caloric range, probably about the 2,200 range, but um, it is what it is. And overall, I'm pretty happy with the results I got. I'm definitely the leanest I've ever been, so I feel like I'm in a good place to kind of now bulk up without putting on too much body fat, more or less. Um, but that's where the reverse dieting comes in, so you don't go from eating more or less bare minimums so you can still burn body fat to now you're eating exactly the way you were before you started dieting and so what's going to happen if you do that is you're going to shock your system more or less and you're pretty much going to put back on all the fat that you just burned off and then some and so with a reverse diet you're slowly adding calories and so it gives your body and your metabolism a chance to recover reset itself restore itself um and with that you can actually the kind of the cool thing about it is if you do it right you can actually set yourself up for quicker faster more efficient I say efficient loosely uh, fat loss the next time you do a dieting phase and you can actually increase the um, amount of calories you're able to intake when you're dieting when you're bulking all that stuff like that because you have a higher set point so you have more calories to remove and things like that and I, I won't get into all the science of it because I'm still learning a lot of it as I go so this is kind of a trial and everything but that's kind of where I'm at with that and I'm looking forward to it so now I've increased my carbs by about 5% of what they are so uh, I'm just doing about 130 140 grams of carbs so I'm up to 147 grams of carbs got a I'm rolling at about 61 62 grams of fat and I'm still gonna keep my protein relatively high and then every week I'm gonna increase my calories by about 80 to 100 and then every week of course my um, carbs my fats will go up as well um, so I'm looking forward to it I'm excited to do it I'm um, looking forward to hopefully getting some footage in the gym as well as just some other stuff I like to do for my workouts um, everything from cardio and lifting to plyometric type stuff and even yoga um, I try my best to do it all and kind of keep myself 
as limber as I can and kind of wait, really take myself out of my comfort zone because I definitely want to grow and all this is so very, very new to me. Um, so I'm excited to kind of learn and grow and share it with you. But anyways, um, I'm going to end this vlog because it's pretty much all I wanted to say and people walking outside of the Starbucks that I'm sitting outside of in my car recording are definitely looking at me funny. That's okay. Alright guys, as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace!